Pretty simple Friday. It's been a long time since I put one of these out. This one should hopefully make up for some missing ones. I know I want to catch up to this, but let's just get into it. If you've been doing any kind of macro scripting, this particular tool is an absolute game changer. This will be put into my architectural tools that I give out from my pro plan, so please note that. But uh, in the meantime, let's just get into what this is. I call it Rab's Macro Search. So it's a rich text box. You place it in plan, and once you've got it in plan, go ahead and select it and draw out a leader line and snap that leader line to some publisher. And you see what it's doing here. It's looking at this wall for anything that might report from a value called material. Watch, we'll take this leader, we'll snap it to the window. It's doing the same thing. Anything that might have a value of material, for instance, okay? So let me open this up and show you how this is adaptable to whatever you might need. You can put in search terms, comma separated values. Let's just go depth and width, for instance. Depth and width, there we go. It's giving us any, anything that might meet that search term. And it's even giving us the proper setup for this to, to write this into a new macro, okay? So we can see here, we've got a couple of these that are separated by period, right? So there's a hierarchy in this particular section. So containing wall, lower insulation depth. Let's just take one of these. I'm gonna open up my Ruby console just to show you how this works and shrink this down. And I'm gonna put owner to just say that this is an owner object. And while we're at it, let's just select this window so we have exactly what we're reporting. So owner dot, and then we've got this containing wall dot upper insulation. And let's just do depth because that reports four inches, okay? And I'm gonna press enter, there you go four inches. So really, really fast and easy way to locate some value you might be looking for. So if you're wondering if it reports something that you'd like to look up, maybe you wanted to see if maybe jam is a reported value, you can see no matching results, right? Maybe you want to see if sash is a value. Look at that. There's some matching results. So really, really powerful tool for you. Hope that helps you out. Um, look, if you're not familiar, if you haven't checked it out, I have a Discord server. That's where I've been spending all my time. I've been building out the Discord server. We've been building up that community. I've been building out all the products. I've got huge updates through all my product line. I've got a section in, in my Discord server that's called VIP. In VIP, I even give you all of the, um, the instruction set that I put into chat GPT plus to write these really complex macros. So I'm getting a lot done with that. You've got some really upper elevated paid only videos that I put into those VIP sections. I think it's well worth the money. This is just an advertisement at the tail end of this free symbol. Go enjoy the free symbol and I appreciate you following. Thank you.